This will be a brief but hopefully thorough explanation of how to get graphics out of CorelDRAW into the Zenitech Graphic Workstation for mechanical engraving. These are the steps we'll attempt to illustrate. First, get your graphic. Your vector graphics with your creative from scratch, scan it and trace it, import clip art. In this case, I have a piece of vector clip art. Uh, we select everything, we remove the fill, add a hairline, convert to curves, make 10 times bigger, therefore your resolution will be much better over in Zenitech. At that point, we're ready to put that in the clipboard, so we'll click on Edit and Copy. We'll switch to Zenitech. From the Zenitech menu, Edit and Paste. Typically, then, we would drag a rubber band box on the screen to show what we have. The next four steps, 10 through 13, is only if you want to match fill. So, optionally, we would color from the menu bar, color, and explode the poly vectors. 11, then immediately click on color and sort and combine. Then we click on font and hatch fill, possibly modify the closeness of the lines and we get it the way we want it. Export that as a Xenotech hatch fill logo. Those are our steps, so let's get started. But first, let's put some text in here just to complicate things a little. The rest of that is simply a piece of clip art. Let's put 2009, and we'll put this right about here for no good reason. All right, now we're ready to begin. We have completed our graphic. I'm going to select all. I'm going to double click on the pick tool. One of, one of many ways in Corel Draw to select everything. That selects all of our parts. Now we're going to remove fill number three. I'm going to left click on the X, the top of the color bar. That removes the fill from everything. Number four, we're going to add an outline. So I'm going to right click on red. Red has nothing to do with it. It's just what I typically use. Then we're going to be sure that that's a hairline. So we'll go to our outline pen tool and tell it we want everything to be a hairline. And then we're ready to make 10 times larger. So I'm going to first be sure that my lock here, which is the proportional scaling lock, I'm going to be sure it's locked. So I only have to change one of these. I'm going to go over here and type in asterisk 10. That's times 10. So it'll multiply both of those height and width by 10 times as soon as I press enter. Sure enough. Uh, I'm going to zoom out just so you can see that, but that made everything 10 times larger. Now we're ready to copy that into the clipboard. So that's Edit and Copy. We'll immediately, I'm pressing Alt-Tab to switch over to Xenotech. Inside Xenotech then, we'll click on Edit and Paste. And we'll call this uh, Mav2. And drag a box on the screen to see what we have. Then, if all we need is an outline, we're done. But if we want this hatch filled, I'm going to select it, color, and explode the poly vectors. By the way, I am going to be sure the best way to work for this is go to line group and be sure I have fan line on and wireframe. That's not necessary fun functionally, but you'll see better what you're doing. So with thin line and wireframe, sure enough, I've got it the way I want it. Uh, then I'm going to click on color and sort and combine. And we'll refresh the screen. And there's our part. Now we'll go to font and hatch fill. And there's our finished graphic, unless we want tighter lines. I'm going to move that down in the corner where we can see a little better. And then in, I'm going to click on cutter size and tell it I'd like that to be filled maybe with uh, 20 thousandths of an inch fill. A little tighter, maybe a tighter yet. So we'll go down, tell it point, point oh 0.01. And we're happy with that. I'm going to zoom in on it to show you a little better what we have. Tightly hatch filled. I can loosen that up or tighten it up by using my cutter size. But now we're ready to save this with the hatched 
capability in there. So we're going to click on Q File Export. I'm going to be sure I'm in Zenitech logo format. Save as file type. And we'll type in Mav2. Now I'm going to type in HF for hatch fill. And then we'll save that. Then we'll delete that and see what we have. I'm going to click on L for logo. We'll click inside here and type in MAV. There's MAV1, there's MAV2, and there's the one we just completed. I'll click on open, drag a box. There's our graphic. Project completed.